for your nice words. And now, in the program, you can read the prize. So there are some good news, but also uh, some not so good news. And most times, we start with the good news. And so we do it right now. So many people talked about this, that it's the 10th anniversary of the Annaberg Climate Days that started 15 years ago. And so something is missing, it goes to the background, but something that is very fascinating, especially to me. So if really something changes, uh, not always uh, to the better, but sometimes also to the worse. So this uh, depends on the individual people. It depends on constellations. And then, so in the year 2000, something happened uh, that uh, depended on individual people. So this was Thomas Thiele from uh, Annaberg Buchholz and Wilfried Küchler uh, from uh, the state office in Warnsdorf, in the weather station. And they came to me, they came up to me. I was new at uh, the Technical University uh, of Freiberg. And so they walked up to me. I didn't know them before. And they introduced themselves and we were talking and um, they were asking what I'm thinking about the regional climate change and what I will do about this in my responsibility of a, a professor at the university. And so at the end of this uh, talk, we agreed that it would be a good idea to have such climate days. And since Thomas Thiele and Wilfried Küchler were friends for many years and he uh, came from Anneberg and so he already asked uh, the then district uh, administrator if it's possible and also the mayor if it's possible to have these climate days in Anneberg if this is uh, good for the city and so actually I didn't do anything uh, these were the two people that were organizing everything and so the background framework was uh, decided about and uh, then I was uh, talking with uh, Mr. Bernhofer and because he has more regional experiences than myself as a freshman and so we were also asking the state government and so on and in 2001 there were the first Anneberg climate days and there were a lot of uh, participants and many people interesting in this event and so we were up here and we were hearing some loud noises and so there was a small demonstration of people who really uh, an environmental organization and they thought that what we are doing, it was again in this building then, that this is not correct and that uh, we should do something else. So this turmoil uh, subsided and the Annenberg Climate Days, according to my uh, opinion, uh, had a big impact on the region, so not only on this district or the Free State of Saxony, but uh, something was possible and I think it's wonderful uh, to have an impact on the bigger region and so on a regular basis we also have presenters here, colleagues and participants from Poland, from the Czech Republic, 
unmittelbare Anrainer an den uh, so from the neighboring uh, countries of the free state of Saxony, but also in a cl climatological way. We are uh, very closely connected. So who knows that the free state of Saxony is uh, the region with the most thunderstorms uh, in Germany. And it's especially in the uh, Ore Mountains that have a lighting intensity and a lighting density that is much more than the average in uh, Germany. And the association of the electrical trade uh, were really surprised by this. And these thunderstorms, uh, they are actually made on the Czech side, of course. So that's because of uh, the flow of the air and uh, because of the ore mountains. And that's why the scientific exchange and the cooperation between the colleagues uh, on the Czech side and on the Polish side is very important. And so during the last 15 days, uh, we had uh, a lot to learn about this. But uh, the very beginners uh, were the two people I talked about before, and uh, these two people also uh, made the programs. And what is very sad is uh, that both uh, are ill, and that's why they cannot be here. So actually, it was meant differently. But unfortunately, it is like this. But still, we should think of these two people, and we should wish them that uh, they can really um, be successful in their health issues. And thank you very much. So these flowers are not for the two people. So they would have to share the flowers. This would be a little strange. But in this room, there are also people who uh, organize these Annaberg Climate Days. And uh, it's the birthday of one person, actually. Congratulations. Ja, damit ist der Überraschungen so, auch schon Genüge getan. Uh, this was the surprise. So actually, we thought uh, to show you uh, the two people machen, and to do something with them, but if they are not wenig. here, we cannot do it. So we have a brief moment, brief moment of rest. Um unserem Übersetzer -Team and I would like to thank our translator team, thank you very much, wer schon mal versucht hat, who jemand already tried to Rede sofort zu translate a speech while somebody weiß, is talking knows uh, what big challenge this is. And uh, these two colleagues in the booth do this for many years, and thank you very much. <laughs>